So this is the Power Fist Disassembly Part 2. We already have the rocker cover off, and now we're going to take the cylinder bed head bolts, and we're going to loosen them off. There's four of them. Two of them will sit inside the cylinder head, underneath where the rocker cover was, and two of them will be on the outside where the uh, muffler studs are. So once we get the bolts out, we're going to lift the sonar head off. You may see some parts falling out there. We keep track of those. Those are called push rods. Push rods, we need to make sure that those push rods go back in exactly the way they came out, in exactly the same position. So when we pull them out, we have to think, how are we going to make sure that they go back in exactly like this? And so you'll see that I'm going to take them out and, no, I'm going to set them right inside the cylinder head so that we know later on, on reassembly, how to uh, put them back in. So now we have the cylinder head gasket, and there's some cylinder head dowels in there too that we're gonna point out. So pull the cylinder head gasket out, you can see the dowels. They make sure that the cylinder head is perfectly lined up with the cylinder block so that everything, nothing hits where it shouldn't. I'm gonna take the bolts right through the dowels and put them back into the cylinder block just to keep track of everything. Good. I'm um, going away with the engine there, and the, on your instructions, there's a link that you can click, and that link will show you how to loosen off the flywheel bolt so that we can take the starter cup off. So we've got that flywheel nut off. I shouldn't say bolt and nut. And we're going to spin that nut off. And just set it aside, and we're going to pull the flywheel cup and the flywheel fan off. You can see there's little plastic dowels in the fan that fit just nicely in the cup. Put that together with the nut and we'll set that aside. Now the flywheel slides off. You want to make sure that you keep track. Uh, you can see there's a groove cut that's called a keyway on the inside of the hole of the flywheel. And that key sits in a keyway on the crankshaft. And that's what makes sure our flywheel turns at exactly the right time so that our spark happens at the right time. So underneath the flywheel, we've got a whole bunch of things that we can take apart here. We've got the flywheel brake bracket, which I'm taking off now. We're loosening off. We've also got the fuel tank bracket. I'm going to loose those bolts off too. And we've got the oil breather cover. So we're going to take the oil breather cover off. We'll quickly take everything off here. Once again, we'll put the bolts back into the holes that we found them just to keep track because sometimes they look the same but uh, they may be a different length or a slightly different bolt size and we want to make sure that we don't stick the wrong bolt in the wrong place. So, we'll take the oil breather cover off. On the inside, you'll have a gasket that you just want to be careful of because we don't have a new one for that. And then on the inside there, you're going to see this little plastic disc. Actually, I think it's fiberglass. You pull that out. Don't lose that. That's a little valve to regulate the oil pressure in your crankcase. So, set that aside. It might be a good idea to tape that to something. Now, we're going to take off the crankcase cover. Uh, there's, I think, eight bolts that hold this crankcase cover in. So we're just going to loosen them off. Usually what I do is I take the wrench and loosen them all off first. And then I go in after and um, spin them out with the, with the nut driver.
So we have the nuts off and we'll slide the crankcase cover off. You can see there's a gasket there and those gasket probably have a few dowels on them too, just to make sure that our crankcase cover lines up perfectly with our cylinder block. And so you can see I'm just going to reposition it so that the gasket is back on there and so that the dowels are in place. You can see the, the governor gear right there. Now normally this, this engine was missing it from a student not putting it back together right, but there's a little button that sits on there. You need to make sure that that is there. And if you don't have one, you need to come see the instructor. So this is the camshaft. It should just slide right out. That shouldn't be hard. If it doesn't slide out, we just turn the crankshaft a bit until it does. These are my lifters. I'll pull the lifters out and set them aside. And just a couple more bolts left to hold the connecting rod cap onto the connecting rod. There's some times where you need some help turning the crankshaft. I'll have a crankshaft holder, the same one that you used for loosening the starter cup nut or the flywheel nut. And so if you need that, just come see Mr. Martins. So I've got the, my ratchet all the way down inside and I'm taking off the connecting rod bolts. We'll just get them loose and then you have to go in there with your hand and it's a little tight but you'll have to go in there and spin them off with your fingers. When you get the bolts out you need to make sure that you have a look at the connecting rod cap and the connecting rod. There should, should be some certain some marks that you want to pay attention to so that you put the cap on the proper way. If you put it on backwards then it won't, the crankshaft won't turn. So have a look at the bolts, make sure that they're the same and then you're just going to turn the, you snag that flywheel connect rod cap off. Just set it aside and then we're going to push the piston out. This probably will come out in a hurry, so make sure that you're pushing out over top of a bench somewhere so you don't drop it on the floor. You can see the markings that I'm uh, taking note of there, and we'll take the connecting rod cap and we'll put it on right there and just put the bolts in, and then we know which way it needs to go back together. This is highly machined. So you need to make sure that we pay attention to these on the way apart so that we know exactly how to put them back together. And the last thing you'll take off is the crankshaft and it should just slide out. And you'll set it aside and you have uh, completely disassembled uh, the power fist engine.